Okay, well, you are in uh, Bombay Sapphire Lounge um, in collaboration with Yin Kalora, who's myself. Um, so you're looking at a range of AR artworks inspired by my cultural heritage, which is British Nigerian. Um, and what you're seeing here is me sort of telling stories uh, based on memory of my artwork, um, which is fed into this algorithm. Um, and then it kind of projects out a new narrative based on what you fed it. I'm still a dummy, to be honest with you, with this whole process. Um, but what I, from what I can remember, um, I was talking to a guy called Marco. He, he's like the kind of technical guy at Happy Finish. He's been working with me on the AI. Um, and what happens is that basically you feed this, 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 this algorithm, this, you know, your image, my, my artwork, um, and also from based sci fis Im images as well, feed into this, this algorithm. It then remembers the, the colors, the shapes, everything based on those images. It then tries to make, rem remember all of that information and then feeds out a new body of artwork. And then this is what you see today. So basically, it's a kind of amalgamation of my narrative um, and Bombay Sapphire's images as well. Um, and it's just a new way of sort of telling stories and a new way of kind of creating memories and telling stories. So, so yeah, that, that's for me in a nutshell what, how I would describe it, yeah. Simplest way. Yeah, in all honesty, I was actually blown away. I mean, it's the first time actually being in this space today. Um, and yeah, for me, it was actually quite overwhelming, sort of seeing my work in a sort of different context. Um, so yeah, it's the sort of first time working like this. So, um, and I think it's going to be a new way of working for me in the future, actually. So I will do a lot more, actually, um, AR artworks. Um, because my work is very much about storytelling, also very much about memory. So the fact this kind of system and this sort of technology is using memory in a really kind of technical way, um, for me, is quite fascinating. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm like really excited and also excited to see how people react to the work as well, you know, because it's not just a static image, it's actually moving images. So you try to actually understand um, the, the kind of narratives in this image that you're sort of looking at in front of you, um, which is nice, you know. Uh, black yeah, yeah. I, I like Tom Ford. Uh, you wear Tom Ford? Uh, no, I, I wear the Harbour. The Harbour. Yeah. You read it today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is because, you know, I, I grew up in London, I was you know, born and raised in London, and my parents are Nigerian. So for, for me as a kid, my parents would go to Nigeria and sort of tell us stories based on their memory. So as a kid, you're trying to understand this, this, this country, this nation, um, coming from your parents. Uh, but you were born in London, so you sort of feel like there's something missing in part of your culture. You have British, which is great, and you also have Nigerian. Um, so for me, it's always about trying to retell my narrative and my story based on my memory. Um, and it's probably memories of me going to parties in Nigeria, parties in London, surrounded by people who are from, you know, Nigeria or West Africa, but have dual nationalities. Um, I think for me it's quite powerful. And you know, so also, you know, also it kind of, for me, it kind of gives me that, 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 that power, you know, to kind of tell stories in my work and not everyone has two cultures, you know. So I think for me it's important that I celebrate, um, you know, my cultural heritage, um, you know, through colour and through my memory. Yeah. And it's so interesting that it's come to this. It's like that. I know. Yeah. 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 Arc, isn't yeah, really? yeah. I mean, it's not what I expected um, during the whole process, um, but for me, it's been a huge learning curve and huge. Um, and yeah, I've learned lots, you know, during the whole process. And I mean, I've sort of went away and read about AI and understood, you know, actually, what, what does it actually mean? Um, and yeah, I think as again, I said it. With, I'm looking to use it a lot more in my practice and maybe, you know, maybe like do something maybe more like larger on a larger scale as an installation maybe next year.